Welcome, my name is Roger and I'll be showing you how to configure the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to connect a classic OPC client to an OPC UA server. I'll be using two virtual machines. One will have the classic OPC DA client on it and the other will have the OPC UA server on it. Because we want to avoid remote DCOM connections, I have the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler already installed on the same computer as the classic OPC DA client. Recall that OPC UA, by specification, is firewall friendly. Therefore, we will have the classic OPC DA client connect locally to the Matricon OPC UA Tunneler. Tunneler will convert the OPC DA to UA and then remote connect to the OPC UA server using a single TCP port. For those that aren't aware, OPC UA can support real-time data transfer known as DA, historical data transfer, which is now known as historical access or HA for short, and alarms and conditions or AC for short. These should not be confused with the classic OPC DA, HDA and A and E. An OPC UA server can support one or many of these, but is not required to support all, so it is important to check with your vendor which features your OPC UA products support. For this exercise, we will be connecting a classic OPC DA client to an OPC UA server that supports the DA part of the OPC UA specification. Let's start by running the OPC UA server. For this exercise, I'm using a test server that our development team created. You can see the OPC UA server has started and the server endpoint is listed. This contains the protocol to be used, the computer name and the TCP port being used by the OPC UA server. We will need this endpoint to connect to this OPC UA server with Tunneler. Let's start by copying this. We'll now move to the computer that has the classic OPC client and Tunneler on it. Start by opening a command prompt. and try pinging the remote OPC UA server computer. In this case, mine is called OPC server one. And we can see there a successful ping test. If this fails, contact your network administrator. Once a successful ping test has been confirmed, open the matrix on OPC UA tunneler configuration panel from the Windows Start menu. Note that there are three main functions or modes. Click on the classic client to UA server tab. Click the plus button to add a new connection. Paste the endpoint we copied from the OPC UA server computer into the server URL field. And click validate. You may receive a message advising of discarded endpoints, depending on what modes your OPC UA server supports. Click OK. You can change the name of the connection if required. Modify the other fields depending on your requirements. Here I will use no channel security and anonymous for session security. Expand the classic com details tab. You can modify the program ID, 
that the classic OPC client will see and also the Windows service name if required. Before we click create we need to ensure that a certificate private key password has been entered. Click the manage application certificates button up the top right. Enter a password of your choice and click OK. Now click create. A message warning the channel is not secure is displayed. Click OK. The next message is asking if you want to accept the certificate from the OPC server. Click yes. We now need to provide user credentials for a Windows Administrator user account that the newly created service will run as. Enter the details and click OK. Remember, if the user is a domain user, to add the domain first, then a backslash before the username. If the user is local, please add a dot, then a backslash before the username, and then click OK. The new connection is created and listed in the UA server's connection list. Confirm the status shows running. This may take a few moments. If not, click the play button. If we take a look at Windows services, we can see the new service has been created. You can now close both windows as the configuration is now completed and running as a background service. Next, we'll connect our OPC client. For this exercise, we will use Matricon OPC Explorer. This is a free test OPC Classic client that supports the DA protocol. You can see underneath the local host that the new registered connection has been made. Select it, then click connect. Now click add tags. Browse for the tag you wish to add and then double click it to add it to the tags to be added list. Then click OK. You should see good quality and the current value displayed. Congratulations! You have successfully configured a classic client to UA Server Tunneler Connection.